Is Dixon a throwback, one of those old-fashioned Midwest towns where people trust each other, a handshake uh -huh. is uh, better than a contract, yes. Yes. your word is your bond, is that this place? That's exactly this place. And that trust has been part of the glue that's held Dixon together, especially in the last few years. Because despite all that Dixon seemed to have going for it, the city budget had been cut to the bone. How could things be so bad in a seemingly prosperous town? Who is Rita Crundwell? Well, Rita Crundwell, very likable person. Everybody around City Hall liked her. She was very friendly. She always had a, a big hi and a big hello. Rita Crundwell grew up in Dixon and started working in City Hall part-time as a 17-year-old student and ultimately became the city's treasurer comptroller. Anytime you have an expenditure uh, of any significance, you need to check through Rita. But in her spare time, Crunwell developed a more glamorous avocation. She built up a nationally famous quarter horse farm right on the edge of town. Congratulations to a newly crowned world champion. Good, I will be. A glimpse inside a room at her ranch reveals wall-to-wall -wall trophies and awards. It certainly appeared money was no object. But one day, when Rita was away at a horse show, another city employee discovered something suspicious. Our city clerk brought a bank statement to me, and she said, I cannot connect this with anything. And I took a look at it, and I thought, this can't be. On show and bred by Rita Crunwell, Dixon, Illinois. It was as if Rita Crunwell was leading two lives. Excuse us. She admitted to stealing money from her hometown, yet Rita Crundwell didn't utter a word, not even an apology. Excuse me. As she left court today, the first time as a federal criminal. Right. Any idea why she wouldn't talk to us today and just apologize to the people of Dixon? Can't answer any questions. But the question of where that $53 million went was all around the 59-year-old. Horses, trailers, custom furniture, flat screen TVs, a Florida vacation home the best of the best, all paid for with taxpayer dollars. Taxpayers angry enough to show up and hear Crundwell say the word guilty. I've um, known her all my life and I worked with her face to face and she lied and cheated to us and, and I feel betrayed. It's caused a lot of turmoil, a lot of hard feelings, a lot of, you know, accusations. I would really myself like to see some sign of remorse. I haven't seen it at all. It should serve as a warning and hopefully a lesson. Acting U.S. Attorney Gary Shapiro alongside the FBI and United States Marshals say Crundwell's master plan should have been caught sooner and despite her seemingly honest image, even the generous hometown girl can tell a lie. Public officials who manage their citizens' money need to trust if they must, but they need to verify. Uh, there was, as far as we can tell, no verification here.